these are good too. If you're into like the spicy things, these these are these are good for you. Plus the chips are big. Look at that. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And I know I have been away for a while. People have asked where I've been, what's going on. Um, for the past month, it's been really crazy. And, and by crazy, I mean it's been a lot of negative energy around me. Um, a lot of changes I had to make with people around me, uh, as well as you know a lot of death in, in, in the family, with friends. Uh, you know, in the past month, I, I lost four people uh, that were close to me. So I kind of took that as a sign that I just need to relax a little bit, kind of gather my thoughts, change my, my, my energy around me, uh, put myself in a better situation, uh, you know, for me and my family, uh, as well as get a better outlook on life. Man, I, it, it changes things about you. You know what I mean? Like when you when you see people pass or you, you're constantly dealing with death or having to deal with death, it changes your perspective on life. Even for a split second, it puts you in a different mind frame. Uh, it kind of gets you to where you want to shut yourself out because nobody wants to go through that, you know, that feeling of losing someone all the time. So it puts you in a, in a box where you start to leave people out of it because it's easier for you to not have to deal with it. So, you know, I went through that um, and it just kind of took things away from me, things that I like to do, things I love to do. It kind of just took that energy out of me and I didn't want to do them anymore. Um, but I, I appreciate the support that was still coming from you guys. I still have people reaching out um, and, and it kind of helped me to understand that, you know, even in the, the downsides of life, there is always an upside. You know, even in the challenges that we face and the obstacles that we face, there is still uh, reward in the end. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm thankful to you guys. I appreciate all the support, uh, you know, that I've been receiving. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'm, I'm back for you guys. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to tell you guys that just to start it off, because like I said, I wanted to answer those questions first. Uh, but today I have something on the menu and, and I haven't really seen people with these. I've seen look like maybe briefly, but I've, I haven't really seen people try these. So I wanted to try it. Okay. These the wrap snacks. Okay. So I have like, this one is, uh, this is Romeo's, uh, Romeo Miller. This is wrap snacks. And I, I the reason I grabbed his because I think he was the first one that I heard about barbecuing with my honey. So I'm guessing these are honey barbecue, honey barbecue flavored chips. So I'm gonna try those. I also got the Cardi B's. You know, I had to get those. Cardi B got the jerk barbecue. Uh, I'm thinking these are gonna be really good. I also have the Trina Honeydew cheese puffs. Now I had to go Trina, she homeschool, you know what I'm saying, 305. So I had to represent for that. Uh, you know, couldn't, couldn't, can't do anything without representing my animal, you feel me? And uh, <laughs> I got these just just cause this dude is funny, man. A little yachty, you know what I'm saying? Hot chili pepper and lime. I think I I got a feeling they're gonna taste like takis, okay? But I had to get them because, like I said, this dude is funny, but he's very successful, man. So I'm like, they they knew what kind of chips to 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 use for this guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try each one of these and. uh Hopefully it hit the spot. I'm gonna go day kind of first. Try to try to you know, the, the cheese puffs. Now these are honeydew puffs. I like them. It's like um, you taste the Cheetos. And then afterwards you get like a, a honey taste, like a sweet honey taste, the aftertaste. It's a good combination. I 
I like those. I haven't tasted anything like that before, so I think y'all should definitely try that. Next, we're gonna go with our Cardi B jerk barbecue. You can smell that in the bag, man. You can smell the jerk in the bag. Ooh. Mm hmm. That jerk hit you at the end. But it's good, though. I like it say here, stay true to who you are. And that's true, guys. A lot of people get caught up in what people want them to be instead of being who they truly are. It's hard to be successful uh, based on someone else's truth. You know what I mean? Stay true to who you are. These are good, too. If you're into, like, the spicy things, these, these, are, these are good for you. Plus, the chips are big. Look at that. Now I got Romeo snacks. Looks like I said it's honey barbecue. <laughs> so I always like honey barbecue on my chicken or everything, man. So you can't really go wrong with that. That's not my thought anyway. Right. These are really good. And then these snacks, these these chips, man, they're like a nice size bag. You get them like for a dollar fifty, dollar sixty. It took me a while to find these, though. By the way, I didn't see them at Walmart and stuff like that. Actually, you might have to go to the hood, man. Go to the little hood corner store. They got them lined up in there. But I always told y'all. It's always the places that you don't expect that have some of the best things to eat. Remember I said that. Proving my point right here. Clean stuff. I know y'all ain't gonna tell me y'all only let me ride out like that. And last but not least. Look, guys. The reason why I want to try these last because they too too hot. Man. I know it's gonna have me. Y'all know I can't deal with heat that well, so I'm gonna try these with a little water. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. I had to move, man. They had people coming up and asking me if I wanted to buy sunflower seeds. And I tell you, man. Sometimes you in the hood, you gotta be careful. Anyway, like I said, the last I got is the Yachty's, um, and they look real hot. I don't know if y'all can y'all can see how hot that is, man. So, but I got my drink with me, you know what I'm saying? I got my little Fiji water, whatever, so. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> that hit you right away, man. <laughs> Shout out to the, to, to the Yachty, man. <laughs> then you got the lime aftertaste, too, so. It's not bad, kind of offsets it, but it's definitely spicy. All in all though, man, I like these chips. I think they're they're unique. They bring flavor, you know, that combinations that most people don't have. So I'm down for it, man. If you guys ever stop to your local gas station, even one that's outside of your range, man, look for these chips. I'm sure you'll find them, like I said, like a dollar fifty, dollar sixty, man. And just enjoy them on the house, man. You're hearing it first from your boy, Mr. Grub. Catch you guys next time. I'm out.